well Alan a battling 2-1 victory and you nearly kind of lost it at the end there no I know to be fair both teams both teams were having a go um, Air put us under a lot of pressure towards the end um, probably a wee bit unlucky not to get the second goal um, but first half we should have killed the game off for the chances we had that was a great header by Semple in the third minute that put Air on the back foot it was really good delivery and then after that we had a couple of really good opportunities as well that we probably got to score from and towards the end of the first half Air started coming into the game started putting us under a wee bit of pressure and um, obviously we get that vital second goal uh, halfway through the, the second half. It's a really good ball for Conor Murray and Dobbs does what he does best in scores. Yeah, it was nice to see Doby back in the, um, the score sheet again. Um, but you must have been panicking. Everybody's saying the ball was over the line. You're saying the ball wasn't. Well, obviously I've not seen the video <laughs> again, but I'm just judging with what the players are saying. Um, they were saying it was nowhere near him. But obviously I don't know. I've not seen the video, yeah. so it's yeah. impossible to tell. Back-to-back -back victories, and it's now sets you up for a, a nice match next Saturday. No, no, there's no easy games in this division, but it don't come much tougher than, than Dundee United. They're top players, premiership players throughout their whole team, so we know how difficult it's going to be. And for us to get a result against teams like that, we need to be at our very best. So hopefully we can we can do that, especially at home. Well, Mark, not the best way to end the year, um, but the team did battle towards the end. I think obviously missed a chance in the. First minute, uh, we move off, and that's the one you're looking to, to set, us, set us up for the rest of the game. And then we lose a goal on our end, uh, basically almost a minute or two after that, like a set piece. Um, which just, uh, we just seem to be getting punished with, with everything like that now. Um, and then the game, Kennedy Hutt's with a couple of counter attacks, and then we were on top of the game for probably the last 25 minutes of the first half. But again, chances round about the box, chances round about 12 yards, and we're we're trying the extra wee touch or the extra wee pass. It's, it's great when you're, when you're up one or two and we were beating teams 3-4-0 and, and we take that wee extra t pass and we, we dress it up and we, we were finishing them, it looks brilliant, but we need to be more clinical and I've said that for the last couple of weeks. Um, the, the same with the, with the second half, the second goal was just one in their half for 10-15 minutes. And it's just slack balls, it's not either either ball, it's straight passes across the park to their men getting done the counter. So. It's disappointing. Um, Positives are we dominated the game at certain bits yet, and we had chat. We had their keepers made seven, six or seven really good good saves, and Duhans only made had to make one good save yeah. and no chance for the goals. You obviously had to change things around today, given that you had to watch the game from the stand. Um, you're going to be back in contention for next Saturday now. Hi, <laughs> well, this is the way it's going now. Um, I thought Gags had done really well today. I thought Gags yeah. had brought that drive in the middle of the part. And, uh, won a lot of balls and, and Stevie done well in there but I think um, I say to them that there is competition for places now and it's getting to the stage where if we're going to keep making mistakes then people won't play we, if, we, if we keep doing the same things then we can't keep just relying on, on the same players we can and we can't if there's competition boys are fighting to get in the team then they'll, they'll get a chance Transfer window opens on Wednesday are you looking to bring anybody in soon, or has the chairman even told you how much money you've got? I will. We'll, we'll be allowed to bring uh, probably two players in. Um, so we'll target to get two and, and possibly three, um, depending on what way the, the window goes, what people are looking for and what's available. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll look to add to the squad, and as I said, the games will, the season is turning, um, just with the weather and the pitches and stuff. So we might might look for something. Hopefully, it brings a bit of a physical presence to, to maybe certain areas of the pitch. You mentioned the pitch there, Michael McCardle was talking to the main press and he said he wasn't too happy with the pitch today, it didn't suit our style of football. Is there a problem with the pitch or was it just the weather? No, the same thing happens every year, John, you can see the, yeah. the weather the changes anyway and it's not an excuse, it's, we play the wee small passes around the park and we will have to um, start adjusting the way we play. People say, I, mean, I was a player last year, people spoke about it and said, oh, January comes and we don't play that same football, mm -hmm. but there's a reason why. Um, the pass, the weird pass are always great, but it does become a bit um, rooted and, and bobbly at times, um, at this stage. And I don't know, they did. It was obviously had a bit of weather, bad weather and that, it's, it's kind of, I've not had a game for a couple of weeks, uh, so it was quite, quite bogging a bit. That doesn't cost you a, a set piece, it doesn't mm -hmm. cost you a header, it doesn't cost you a breakaway and a... A simple pass, it might, it might slow our play down and stuff, but the chances were the other day again, mm. we're just not being clinical. Um, 
we've got to wait on Felman next week. Um, and we just need to, we need to kick on. We need to really get a win under our belt again. Yeah. Um, because everybody's losing games. It's not great when you're losing games, and it's not to take away all other teams are losing. Week. It's a, I see it the other way. It's an opportunity we should be getting up the league. And we're not we're sitting there. We're just sitting, um, not moving. Yeah. Given that this week's New Year, does that change your training this week or the boys be on Thursday? Wednesday, not, Thursday? Ah, it's a normal, normal work week. It's the same. It was a normal work week last week um, for Christmas. So I think it, just the way Christmas falls, it doesn't interrupt mm. to any of the teams. So it's been a normal work week. The boys have been in training um, and they've been, they've been training hard. Uh, I think if we'd got that, that would have been the thing today. That, that if we got that goal in the last minute, it might just be the turning point. But I've understood mm. this feels if. Everything that goes wrong is just is getting punished now. Yeah.